Welcome to the debut edition of Kamikaze Overdrive NFL. Uh, it's an abbreviated breakdown of my picks for the point spread for the upcoming week in NFL, which happens to be week two this week, which is where there are 16 games. Uh, but before we get to that, let's uh, briefly uh, give a shout out to sportsinteraction.com, who my videos are affiliated with. Uh, you can check out sportsinteraction.com slash kamikaze overdrive NFL. And if you sign up with Sports Interaction do some online betting, you will receive a uh, deposit bonus of up to uh, $125. So if you deposit $125, Sports Interaction will match that $125. Deposit anything less than that and they will match that as well. Uh, so let's get right to it. My pick picks for week number two in the opening game of the week. Uh, Atlanta hosts Arizona. Atlanta's a seven-point favorite, and I think they're going to cover. Arizona did not impress me last week. Well, I think Atlanta has a lot to give this year, and I think they will handle Arizona by seven. Second game of the, of the week is Baltimore visiting Cincinnati divisional matchup. Cincinnati looked flat in New England. I think this will be a tight game, but I still think Baltimore comes out on top, or even in a close game, so I'll take the points. Baltimore at plus two. Uh, Green Bay hosting Buffalo, the biggest favorite of the week at plus 13. I think Buffalo is going to keep things a little bit tighter than, than most people are picking. Green Bay is missing a running back. I think Buffalo can keep within two touchdowns, so I'll take Buffalo at plus 13. Uh, Dallas hosting Chicago. Chicago looked bad against Detroit last week, where Dallas certainly needs to rebound after struggling against Washington. I think Dallas comes out and hammers Chicago this week, and I think Dallas will handle that game by more than eight points, so I'll take Dallas there. Uh, Cleveland hosting Kansas City. Kansas City is a one-and-a-half point underdog despite winning their week one matchup against San Diego. Cleveland did not look very good against a bad Tampa Bay team. I think Kansas City can win this one. I'll take the points of one-and-a-half with Kansas City. Uh, Minnesota and Brett Favre will host Miami. Minnesota is a six-point favorite. I think that's a little bit high. This is a field goal game, so I'm going to take Miami at plus six for that game. Um, moving down to Philadelphia. Philadelphia uh, hosts Detroit. Interesting matchup there. Detroit a six-point underdog. I think Detroit's going to keep her a little bit closer than most people expect. Philadelphia suffering from some injuries. Detroit might keep it a little bit tight. Uh, Tennessee hosting Pittsburgh. Tennessee a five-point favorite. I think Pittsburgh without Ben Roethlisberger is in trouble in this matchup. Tennessee looked good last week against Oakland. I think Tennessee rolls in this one, handles it by at least a touchdown. So I'll take Tennessee at minus five. Uh, Carolina and Tampa Bay interdivisional matchup there, NFC South. Carolina three and a half point favorite. Tampa Bay struggled against Cleveland. Carolina didn't look bad, was able to score against the Giants. So I'm going to take Carolina at minus three and a half to take, pick up the victory in that one. Uh, that's followed up by Seattle uh, heading to Denver. Denver is a three and a half point favorite. I think Denver handles this one at home. Seattle is picked up a win last week. They're not the same team on the road as they are at home. So I think Denver, with Lawrence Mulroney, the running back in the new, their new running back in the game, I think Denver takes this one. Uh, Oakland, a trendy pick, got hammered by Tennessee last week. They are hosting St. Louis. They are a three and a half point favorite. I think St. Louis is going to pick up a win here, and, or at least keep it close. I think it comes down to a field goal at the end of the game. So I'm going to take St. Louis at three and a half and hope they keep it tight. Uh, Houston against Washington. Houston heading to Washington. Washington is a home dog at plus three. Houston coming off a huge win over Indianapolis. Washington coming off a huge win over Dallas. I think this is a letdown game for Houston after picking up a big divisional win. Where Washington did the same thing, but this is a home opener. So I think Washington will keep it tight as well. Might be a push at the field goal. So I want to be on the side of the points. So I'll take Washington at plus three. Up next, Jacksonville heads to San Diego. San Diego, seven half point favorite. I absolutely hate Jacksonville. When they're expected to win, they don't. When they're expected to lose, they don't. This is one of those situations. Seven and a half points. I think they will keep it much tighter than that against San Diego. I think seven and a half points. I'm going to take Jacksonville plus seven and a half. Uh, New England and heads to New York to take on the Jets. Big match up here. The New England a chance to start 2-0 and drop the Jets to 0-2. New England's a three-point favorite. I think they handle this game easily. The Jets looked very poor last week. Could not move the ball. If they can't do it this week, New England will leave them behind quickly. Uh, the Sunday night game, the Battle of the Mannings, Indianapolis. Uh, the Indianapolis Colts taking on the New York Giants. Indianapolis lost last week. The Giants picked up the win. Indianapolis is at home this week, plus six. They do not want to start 0-2. I think they get it rolling here. I think they take this game by a touchdown at least. And the Monday night of the defending Super Bowl champions, New Orleans, who have the longest layoff from week one to two, Thursday night in week one to, to Monday night in week two. They head to San Francisco. San Francisco, their home opener after dropping their opening game on the road against Seattle. San Fran was expected to be a, a contender this year in the division. They need to win this game if they're going to do that. But I'm still taking New Orleans at minus six. I think they can continue to build on their Super Bowl success, and they start 2-0, and and they cover the spread. So those are my week 16 picks. If I had to take a lock this week, I'm going to take Tennessee at five. 
minus five against Pittsburgh. I think they can handle Pittsburgh, and they'll cover that spread with ease. Pittsburgh's still struggling without Ben Roethlisberger. So again, check out Sports Interaction slash Kamikaze Overdrive NFL if you'd like to sign up, get your get your sign-up bonus, maybe win some money with me, hopefully. I'll hopefully be back here every week making picks. I like to keep records and keep things accountable. So if I'm struggling, you can see I'm struggling. You can maybe fade me if possible. We'll see how that goes. And uh, also check out my picks for the upcoming UFC 119 event. I'll be posting them very shortly, and uh, we'll see you back here for week three. So again, Kamikaze Overdrive NFL Predictions. Thank you very much, and we'll see you back here shortly.